Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of newer Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Insects finally get a new boss monster. They've really been needing some support for a while. So if you're excited about that, drop a like on this. But we've got new Synchros, new Pens, just a bunch of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming out in Dawn of Majesty. So uh, first off, this is a B uh, Trooper Scout Buggy. B Troopers are gonna be a own archetype. Uh, this card was actually revealed a long time ago, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna go over its effect really quick because it makes sense for the art entire archetype. Type. So, B Trooper Scout Buggies, a level 3 wind insect type effect monster with a thousand attack and 300 defense points. And it says that you cannot special summon monsters except for insect monsters. And if this card is normal or special summon, you get a special summon one B Trooper Scout Buggy from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use this effective B Trooper Scout Buggy once per turn. Now, next up, we have the B Trooper Scale Bomber. It is a level 3 insect. Uh, type effect monster and it's also fire 1200 attack 2000 defense points and it says but insect monster or monsters is normal or special summon to your field except during the damage step you can special summon this card from your hand when a monster your opponent controls activates its effect as a quick effect you can tribute an insect monster and destroy it you can only use each effect of b trooper scale bomber once per turn Next up, we have the B Trooper Sting Lancer. This is a level seven wind insect effect monster with 2,400 attack and 1,800 defense points. And it says, during the main phase, as a quick effect, you get to target one insect monster in your graveyard and one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, place the targeted monsters on the bottoms of the decks. If this card is normal or a special summon, you get to add one B Trooper spell slash trap uh, from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of B Trooper Sting Lancer once per turn. Now, what's weird with this is I actually already have gameplay of this archetype, um, and I'll be showing it for you to you guys very, very soon. But this card effect will let you actually add a negate, and this already kind of is a disruption. The, the B Trooper is not that bad, to be honest. Um, next up, we have the new B Trooper Armored Horn, and here's the artwork on it. So it's a thousand attack, and it's going to be a, a Link 2 with Link Zones being at the top and bottom. So it's also a Earth. Uh, its materials are two insect monsters, and it says you cannot spell some monsters except for insect monsters. You can only use each of the following effects of B Trooper Armor Horn once per turn. During your main phase, you get to immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one insect monster. If this card is in your graveyard, uh, you can banish three other insect monsters from a graveyard to special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field to get to at least come back once. Now, this is the boss monster. This is the giant B Trooper Invincible Atlas. So it is a Link 4 insect Link effect monster with 3,000 attack with Link Zones being in the top, uh, bottom left, bottom, and bottom right. And its materials are going to be two plus insect monsters. And it says, while this... Uh, Link Summon card has 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent cannot target this card with effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You cannot special summon monsters except for insect monsters. You can attribute one insect monster, then activate one of these effects. Special summon one B Trooper monster from your deck, uh, or this card gains 2,000 attack until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Giant B Trooper Invincible Atlas once per turn. So basically, it loses its like special ability of this because it's going to obviously be over unless it somehow got reduced but still at the end of the day the 3000 that's like basically immunity uh it's not a bad effect uh, especially for insects because you can kind of spam with the newer uh, stuff next up we have the b trooper formation this is a new spell card looks like it's a super rare as well um it says uh, it's a field spell you can target one b trooper monster in your graveyard and special summon it but it cannot attack this turn also you lose life points equal to its original attack the face up insect monster monsters you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you disperse one B Trooper token, Insect Earth, level 3, 1000 attack, 1000 defense. You can only use each effect of B Trooper formation once per turn. Next up, we have B Trooper Flying Sting. This is the card that you're going to be adding with the other monster. That like, It's kind of a hand trap. Um, so it's a counter trap card that says, when you put activates a monster effect while well, you control a B Trooper monster, negate the activation if you destroy it. During your end phase, if this card is in your graveyard and you control a insect monster with 3,000 or more attack, you can banish one insect monster from graveyard to set this card. You can only use uh, one B Trooper Fly and Sting effect per turn only once that turn. So unfortunately with this, it's not just during the end phase because then you could instantly have it ready to go for the following turn. But if you do happen to be able to survive and this monster does have some abilities to survive and protect itself, you might be able to get that effect multiple times and that's pretty good. Uh, next up over here, we have different reprints, but also more importantly, seeing the secret rare uh, of the Albert Gesture of Despia. That's all that's really here for this picture. But we still have more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
uh, to go ahead and check out. So anyways, uh, we have Baby Mud Dragon over here. This is a level one dark dragon tuner effect monster with zero attack and 200 defense points. And it says this card you control is synchro, uh, used as synchro material. You can treat it as a non-tuner. Uh, if this card is sent to the graver as synchro material, you get to declare one type or attribute, then target one synchro monster you control. It becomes a declared type slash attribute until the end of the turn. This is definitely gonna be making an impact on the game since you can select whatever you want, uh, specifically going into, um, you know, cards that would be more obscure. Uh, I'm just thinking it's just any, uh, it tar targets one synchro monster you control. Then you can use it maybe potentially as a stepping stone to make, again, other things that just normally cannot be made. Let me know, guys, what would be used for us, but I think it's a cool quality nonetheless. This person is level one, you want for one it. Uh, next up, we have right, uh, right Hem, the Heavenly General. So this is a Link 3 Earth Warrior Link Effect monster with 2200 attack, and its Link Stones are in the upper left, bottom left, and bottom right. Its materials are two monsters with the same type. The effect is, once per turn, during the standby phase, you can target one face-up monster this card points to. Spell some one level four or lower monster with the same type as that monster from your hand to your zone this card points to. At the start of the battle phase, you get to target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use this effect of right hand, the heavenly general, once per turn. I think like when you got to enter battle phase, that's a little bit too late. He needs to just have that effect as a quick effect uh, to be considered good. All right, so new synchros. Uh, let's check out the new spellcaster synchros. So this is Knight's End Administration. It's level six light spellcaster synchro effect, 2300 attack, 1400 defense points. It requires knights and sorcerer and one plus non-tuner monsters. And it says if this card is special summon or if another spellcaster monsters uh, is special summon to your field, you can target out one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. If this card is destroyed by battle or if this card in its owner's monster zone is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you're targeting one level four or lower spellcaster monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You can only use this effect at knights and administration administer once per turn okay next up though we have pazuzulu uh it is a level one dark fiend pendulum effect monster 500 attack and defense pendulum scale being one the pendulum effect is once printing target one card in your uh other pendulum zone this card's pendulum scale becomes the level of that pendulum monster until the end of this turn also you cannot spell summon for the rest of the turn except by pendulum summon uh which really hurts a lot this this is just terrible but the monster effect pendulum summons of your monsters cannot be negated that could actually be pretty good too next up though we have ddd different dimension derby so it's a normal trap card that says you control a face up monster that was ritual summoned using a normal monster or was fusion synchro exceed or link summon using a, a normal monster as material you can target one card on the field and banish it oh unfortunately it's not a continuous um and it was like Mm. I mean, just banishing one card is, is still, like, pretty big sometimes against certain archetypes. Um, I just feel like if it was, like, a once per turn, if you control one, it would just see a lot more play. But at least that's my thoughts on that. Now, we do have some extra cards. I want to big, give a big shout-out to Riv. I think he got these from M. Cole 40 and then he got them from someone else. But shout-outs to M. Cole 40 and Riv um, for hooking me up with these. So these are more additional cards slash leaks. Um... This is Goki, a finishing move over here. Sorry about the quality, it's just when you zoom in. We gotta read it right here from this. But anyways, uh, Goki finishing move is a, is, is a spell card that says target one Goki link monster you control, it gains attack equal to its link rating times 1000. Until the end of this turn, also, if it attacks a defense position monster this turn, inflict piercing uh, battle damage to your opponent. For the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot declare attacks except for with Goki uh, monsters. You can only act with one Goki uh, finishing uh, move per turn. Okay, next up we have the new Trickstar. Oh, Trickstar gave some more support too. Okay, uh, it says special summon two Trickstar tokens, very light level one, zero attack and defense. It says the Trickstar monster monsters you control that was special summoned from the extra would be destroyed battle or card effect. You banish this card from graveyard instead. You cannot normal or special summon monsters to turn you activate this card except for Trickstar monsters. And then at that point, nobody wants to play except for Trickstars, obviously. You can only activate one Trickstar festival per turn. If it didn't have the only you can go for trick stars, then I honestly think that people would be main decking this in a lot of different like link decks and you could do a lot of really cool things and like even like synchro decks um, could make you great use out of that. But anyways, next up, we have two toads with one sting. This was, uh, we had this card announced a while ago, but it was named something completely different, but we finally have the TCG. So we have its new like uh, wording. Let's see if they changed it at all. Activate this card by targeting one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summit to your opponent's field, but negate its effects. Also equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, this 
destroy that monster. The equipped monster cannot attack or be targeted for an attack. This card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster was used as material for a fusion, synchro, exceed, or link summon. You can take control of that summon monster. You can only activate one, two toads with one sting per turn. Um, I don't think that your opponent would make something, I mean, because then you get to take it. Um, interestingly enough, there might be some weird things that you can do, like how troll would it be if your opponent did this to you and you make an acid golem and you go, okay, you can have the acid golem. That's kind of troll. I like weird cards and this is definitely something that's up that alley. Next up, we have Shinobi Insect um, Hagakuramino. Um, Requires two uh, monsters with different names. While this card points to a monster monsters, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. The monster or monsters this card points to is destroyed by battle by card effect. You can spell summon one level four or lower insect monster from your hand or graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Shinobi Insect uh, Hagakurimino once per turn. Okay, so again, more new insect support is pretty cool. We have Tindangle Jareth. Okay, I'm gonna have to squint my eyes for this one. It says flip, you can take one flip monster from your deck, except for Tendangle Drith, uh, and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. If this card is in your hand, you can discard one other card to send one Tendangle card from your deck to the graveyard, except for Tendangle Drith. Uh, and if you do special summon in this card face down in defense position, you can only use each effect of Tenangle Dreth once per turn. Okay, that's definitely an interesting card. I, like, I, I think Flip Effect Monsters just really haven't been seeing some play. Like, Subterror Guru Control is like the only variant, and it's like very, very rare to see that. I've seen a lot more players play Crawlers recently, but I, at the end of the day, I don't know if it's going to be meta at all. Next up, we have new Dinosaur Support with Dino Wrestler. Uh, Iguan no Draka. So it says you can discard one other dinosaur monster to special summon this card from your hand. You could tribute one dinosaur monster, then target one dino wrestler monster in your graveyard with different original name from the tributed monster. Special summon this in the defense position. You can only use each effect of dino wrestler. Uh, Igu Iguana Man once per turn. Okay, so discarding one other dinosaur to special summon it, it is actually a pretty good effect. The reason why is because you can set up your graveyard for dinosaurs, right? Sometimes you really need that target for Oviraptor. So this, I would say, is a pretty decent card. Um, being level six makes things a little bit awkward because if it was seven, you'd have a little bit more plays. Um, I don't know, maybe with Puzzle Mino, if you guys know how like, that combo with dinosaurs, it could be pretty interesting. Um, I don't I don't know if people are gonna actually run at dinosaurs. So I think it's interesting. Uh, if I had some other like effect, uh, it, it's still a decent card at the end of the day. Next up we have fi Flying Red Carp, I'm guessing. I, it, it's literally cut off, but Fish, quick effect. You can just card one water monster. This card gains 500 attack. When this card uh, destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can tribute this card to spell one fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from your hand or deck. You can only use each effect of flying red carp once per turn. The quick effect is interesting. If it was like it gained attack based off of its level, because it only, it's just like a joke in magic carp. Because like, okay, 500 attack and it gains 500. Is it, is it not a once per turn? No, you can use each effect of it once per turn. So you can't even like, I mean, I guess you could discard to activate the water monster's effect, right? That's like the point of it, or like set up the graveyard. But overall, I I, I just don't see it attacking over anything. Um, maybe we could do, I mean, a f flying red carp or whatever the thing is that I call it, because like I said, it's cut off. Um, I'm thinking like we, we could do uh, moon mirror shield and then just like run over. And I mean, special summoning any of those is pretty insane from the deck. Like there's not very many special summoning anything you want from the deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. And then we have Link Apple. This is a card that got announced, I think a while ago, but it's just like confirmation here. But anyways, it's um, it says you can reveal this card in your hand, uh, banish face up one random face down card from your extract. Then special summon this card if the banished card was a link monster. Otherwise, discard this card. And if you do draw one card, you can only use this effect of link apple once per turn. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so it's because it's been a while since I, I remember this card got announced a long time ago and some people were pretty hyped up about it. So. Basically, if it's a link card, you spell summon, otherwise you discard it and draw one. So if you're playing, th this is actually pretty interesting because if you don't need your extra deck and you just want like a, basically an upstart, but your opponent doesn't gain life points, this is not that bad, right? It it's also cyber searchable. This card's definitely like usable in, in certain like decks. Like for example, if you're playing like an Exodia variant and you just don't need your deck, just don't run any link monsters and be like, oh, it wasn't a link monster, draw one. 
it's good. Um, but anyways, let me know, guys, what you think of it down below in the comment section. But like I said, I got gameplay of this very soon, so if you guys want to see it, I will be uploading it. And they're not actually bad. For once, insects actually have, like, a pretty decent... Like, you gotta run, like, like Pickle for Lenny. There's actually other, like, cards uh, that were, like, from previous sets. And there's also, like, Goki Vor version. There's, I got lots of gameplay of this coming out very soon. So if you're new here and do want to see that or more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, hit subscribe, turn the bell, and you'll definitely see it more very soon. But take care. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!